Dr. Troy here. I don't know if you can even see me. But uh, it warmed up enough that I decided to come out and start cleaning the rust off of this Model A frame. I want to get it all cleaned up and get anything I'm not going to use cut off of it. So I can get all the seams welded up, box it in, and then figure out where we're going to go from there. Up on the hill, I have a couple of Model A front ends. I have a Model A truck front end up there. It's a little wider. I don't know if that's what I want to use. And I'm still working on the rear end and an engine. I have a small block Ford. I got a big block Chevy, but that would defeat the purpose of building an antique race car. So uh, I'm going to put an add on and see what I can come up with. I'd like to find like a Packard Flathead Straight 8. I think that would be interesting. But uh, I'm going to get to work on this for a while. We'll let you see what it looks like. Well, I bet it's hard to read, but I can read it here. The camera probably won't do it any justice. But I was able to find the frame number, the chassis number from where the engine. And it's uh, 3445665. I think that makes this frame a 30. Someone out there could tell me. I'd appreciate it. Um, I didn't get far. It's really cold out here. I think I'm going to go in the house. Uh, but I figured I'd update you where I was at. And that's where we're on in that. You know, maybe I'll talk a little bit about this uh, American Road Equipment Extended Forklift. Um, think late 40s, early 50s. I added I mean, five gallons of hydraulic fluid today, and I put it all the way up in the air and then ran the forklift all the way up, and it has got to be 30 feet. Neat old machine. Still runs good as a, uh, what is that, uh, a Red Seal Continental, 162 in it. Brakes work. Biggest problem I have with it is the shifter is worn the hell out on the transmission. If you push down on it, it shifts just fine. But if you pull up on it, it pops out of gear and then you're kind of, you know, it falls out. Neat setup though. It's kind of a mess. Um, under this, look, blood. Uh, you got your gas tank and your hydraulic tank. Big drums on the front. What size tires are these things? 24s, I think. And then my ancient tires on the back, which really need to be replaced. But they still hold air, but they are dry rotted to hell. Uh, I forget what size those are, too. But take a look at these hubs. It actually says American Road Equipment in them. I mean, that's pretty impressive. They cast their own center hubs. You know, not a bad old machine. So that's what I've been up to. I uh, I hope to get a little more done when the weather turns. And I'll get back to you then. Thanks for watching, guys.